Hello and welcome to another vlog. I'm just doing a two-day vlog this week. It's just gonna be today running some errands and they're fun errands, which I like sharing fun ones. Hunter the Havanese is still here. He's been here all month and is going home today. So this will be my first day guest dog free and I don't usually like to leave the house for too long when there's guest dogs here because I just like to know what they're doing. I just, I'm kind of a helicopter mom and need to know what they're doing at all times and we're gonna miss you so much. You're always just such a pleasure. We love having you here. You're an angel. <laughs> Hi. So tomorrow evening Peanut and Tony the Dachshunds come back and we'll be here for the rest of the week. So I have a very small window to get out of the house and live my life. We are gonna be traveling at some point this summer and I am gonna be taking my vlogging camera and documenting the journey. And I was thinking about how last time we went on a trip, I felt like my camera was just tossed in my purse over and over again and just not being treated that great and it's expensive so I don't want and it's like my lifeblood here. Like this is everything I do is my, well not my computer too, but. I would be devastated if something happened to this. This is my second one. I cannot. I have to keep this safe. Basically, long story short, I have now a strap for it so that I can wear it around my neck. I'll have to use my phone to show it to you what it looks like closed, but when I put it in my purse, I just put this over it, and this little thing says Canon on the front and it just snaps in. So on the bottom here, I can't show you and be you be filming it. But under here are snaps. This snaps onto it so it stays put and then it closes over it so that my camera just looks like this. It's so cute. Here is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing some just old navy, I believe is where I got these. Button up, button fly black and gray jeans with my Prada suede boots. Gucci belt, cashmere sweater. You guys, I still have a cashmere sweater in a size small, extra small, with a little button up the front that's in an oatmeal color available in my store if you guys wanna go shop it. I don't know how it's still available. I feel that way about a lot of clothes though. And I actually saw a friend of mine who makes jewelry post it on Instagram. Like, I have certain things that I've made that I cannot believe I thought right away would sell out and are still available. So what you think people might love might not be what ends up being your top sellers. So it's so unpredictable. <laughs> I have no idea what people want. This whole natural kick thing that I'm doing is a attempt on my part to try to nurture the natural beauty that I would like to achieve with just waking up and looking like a princess. <laughs> because there's something that happens when you get older. You start to feel like your femininity kind of, it's why Stella got her groove back. You start to feel like your femininity fades. There's something like playful and cutesy when you're young and then you start to become a woman and you get more mature and you start to, it's just something that sh shifts inside of you. And I want to keep the girliness and the flirtiness because that is actually part of like what makes me me, I feel like, is like the ruffles and the lace and all that. I never want that to go away. So, But I have to make a conscious effort to include it in my clothing because if not, I will just wear neutral tones and stay pretty blah, like pretty like nothing really special. So I have to put in the effort to make that extra that extra step happen in my styling of my clothing and whatnot. I always have to look at myself in the mirror and say, do I look like a dude? Because if I look like I'm just trying to be comfortable like a dude, I have to make one change. <laughs> and then that's how I, I get dressed. I have, to, I have to really look at myself because if not, I will just go straight for the comforts. That's my style tip. <laughs> but it shifts. Something shifts. But anyway, so I, I was on this whole journey about trying to keep things like looking pretty natural beauty. But I, I tried. I put, I put my lash serum on and my brow serum on and I tried. I lasted almost two weeks without lilac street extensions on and was just doing mascara and I this morning put them on because I hate with a raging passion putting mascara on. It turns into a globby mess because I want my lashes to look thick and long and beautiful and wispy. And the only way to do that is with a million coats of mascara. And it just was not delivering. It still looked stumpy and tiny. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel like I look like 
you know, swollen eyes and bald. Because <laughs> I do have blonde lashes. And I just can't take it anymore, okay? <laughs> I can't. I hate it. So I put my lilac street lashes back on and look at it. I just feel like myself again, but I'm not going to do it with the hair extensions. I promise. And with the nails, I am still going to go natural. I'm doing the extensions one round to grow them underneath. And then I'm going back to trying to figure out like a nice, thick, healthy coat that will keep them strong. Look at this. Look at that, there's shreds of skin missing. It's so disgusting. I do this subconsciously, so I, I can't catch myself because I'm not aware of doing it. I'm usually watching something, editing, I'm in bed. I can only stop myself if my nails are professionally done. <laughs> it's a terrible habit, but it's so weird how that habit completely goes away when I have nails on. I stop completely. It's so strange. Something that I do subconsciously in my mind. Constantly, constantly doing it. I'm always doing it. I also bite the inside of my cheek. Stop completely doing this when my nails are done. As if I never did it. And then my nails are beautifully healed. They look fabulous. <laughs> my cuticle oil I put on every night and they look great. My hands look great. Update on the house. Uh, we have painted everything except the second coat. We are currently waiting to hear back from the company that we bought the paint from because they are not offering smaller cans and we don't want to buy an entire can. The paint is very expensive in my opinion. So we just don't want to buy a whole nother one that we only need about a quarter of a can to finish this. Basically it's this section right here and that's it. So now we're thinking if we get a, if we have to get a whole second gallon that we'll just paint in here, which I wanted to do. The only reason why we didn't paint in there is because my husband said that we shouldn't, that we should do something different. I said, nope, let's paint it all because now that looks unfinished. I would rather just paint it because I love the way the molding looks. Look up there, isn't that just stunning? It's stunning. <laughs> so I think that that would look so cool with the banister and the doors and all the detail around that. It would just look so much better if it was black. And guess what? He agrees now because he found a painting that he thinks would look cool here. And so he wants to buy the painting specifically because he was like, well, you know, if I do get that painting, we should paint back here black. And I was like, yes. That's what I was saying. So that will be done. And then we put this artwork here. This is a commission my husband did of his friend who's a tattoo artist. He used, uh, it looks like I think chalk pencil to do these little slats. And then he had it professionally matted to look like the black flag logo. So it's four different prints, a dragon, a snake, a tiger, and a panther coming out of a rose. And the guy's name is Levi, and he's from Seattle, or we we know him from being in Seattle, but he's moved around now. I think he might be in New York at this point, but he's a really talented tattoo artist. And so yeah, we put that there because it just has to be on display. It's been in our bedroom this whole time. <laughs> I was just talking to myself. I hate it when I forget to hit the record button. Uh, this little gray vest jacket I forgot I had. It's so cute. It just looks really good with this whole outfit being that I've got this gray and mustard thing going. I gotta get going. Okay, well I am here. I am parked in a spot that I hope is okay. It says while the theater is open, no parking, but the theater looks pretty close to me. Let's hope I don't get towed. <laughs> got through that without a panic attack. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I only slightly felt like tight chested, but it went away. So I don't know what it is about this place, but I never have the panic attacks here. I think it's because I can look out a window, but um, now I'm off to the thrift store down the street because they have a whole section of vintage and I want to see if there's any good vintage there right now. nice to have nails back. I feel like every time 
I leave getting my nails done, I have to go home and kind of like shape them how I want them. They never really get the shape exactly how I like. And I did start to get a little nervous when she was doing the nails because they were looking really lumpy. <laughs> and I was like, is she gonna fix that? And she did. They're not quite as lumpy as they were, but if you look, they're fat, they're kind of fatter and I like them really slim. So I'm gonna have to go like shape how I like. <laughs> But overall, the experience was really nice. I did pop into the little, here, so you can see me, it's not a glare. I did pop into the thrift store just up the way, but the section I wanted to look at was the vintage, and there were two people like having a work conversation that seemed like I shouldn't be there. I know they don't care, but I just felt like I can hear them kind of like, because I was there, like whispering certain things, <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna leave because I don't wanna, I want them to be able to have their work conversation and not have to worry about me as much. Plus, honestly, I have so many things I need to do still and I'm running out of time. Just got home, went to the grocery store, got some snacks that I just wanted to show you guys that I re-upped when I went to Compass Rose, as you saw, um, on my paper towel. And when I got it and put it at the counter, I said to her, I'm here for my seasonal paper towel. And she said, I'm so proud of you, good job. Because this is literally what I use 90% of the time to clean surfaces and things. But this is my spring one, and now we can officially get rid of Christmas. <laughs> This old dingy thing, they last me all season. So I bought that around Thanksgiving. November, December, January, four months. Good morning. Welcome to the next day. I am getting ready to head out. I still wanna go do all the things yesterday that I never got done before I have two doggies coming this evening. I'm wearing the blazer with jeans, my Marc Jacobs tote. And then I also have on some um, high top. These are like the, knee-high Chuck Taylor Converse. I've had these for a while and I've never worn these really underneath jeans like this and I'm actually really liking the look of it. I have on some black lipstick because I thought it really complemented the outfit. We are going to a thrift store that I have never been to before and it is called Thrift City. It is this massive thrift store here in Tacoma that I've never been to. Yay! Okay, I am here at Thrift City. It's huge. <laughs> I feel like these are the types of places that you find some serious treasures or it's just not good. <laughs> Fingers crossed I find makeup train cases. I know that's a very specific thing to ask of a thrift store, but I am going to just put the energy out there to the thrift gods. Please thrift gods, may there be at least two. But what do we need at the thrift store? I am looking for loafers with some sort of wedge heel to it not a wedge but like platform a blazer or a tweed and black jacket so I'm, i will take tweed or i will take black so i'm going to look for blazers i'm looking for old books i want to decorate the house in various places with height putting plants on top of books a fishing pulley for the light in the corner of our living room i'll explain if i haven't already i feel like i have fur to recover the chair and then that's good
was about to say to myself, Sienna, you did a good job not getting anything off your list. I had a blazer in my hand. I didn't find any luggage. There was nothing in the luggage. A couple of cute purses. Actually, like a few purses that were that looked kind of old school vintage, but they just weren't in the best condition. No, not anything in the shoes. There was a section that was called better quality, and that was where they put like the nicer labeled stuff, but it still wasn't really like a nicer label that I was interested in necessarily. There's just cars everywhere. <laughs> Don't look at me. And um, what else? What else did I want to point out? They had a decent blazer section. There was actually a decent amount of blazers. And so I did get one. But then, <laughs> then I found the nightgown section and I wear silky nightgowns or cotton nightgowns to bed every night or silky shorts and a camisole top. That's like my go-to, but I prefer to wear just dresses. Like I just toss the dress on, something quick and like easy and that way I can roll around in it and I don't really get tangled. I can't wear pants. I cannot wear pants to bed. I will wake up in the middle of the night just ripping them off. I can't have anything too constricting. So that's why I like to wear these big nightgowns. I just much prefer them. And they had the jackpot of all nightgowns. <laughs> oh dear God, you guys, I got so many. So I have to get home and show them to you. I don't know if I'm gonna go to H&M or not. If it's close, I guess I will. I'm super proud of myself for running all of my errands today. I am at the mall and I'm returning my H&M stuff. Look at me go. I meant to show you guys my new background on my phone. I did that this morning while I was drinking my coffee. I just felt like my phone needed a little makeover and so I gave it a Prada logo. <laughs> I love it. I think it looks cool. Actually. Look at these views. Do you see the snow on those mountains? In this little English Tudor house here. Ugh. It's so dreamy. And this one over here. Oh. I got a photo standing right smack in the middle of this road. I'm gonna go home. It's actually really cold. It's like 36 degrees. We were supposed to go for a dog walk down by the waterfront, but I think it's gonna be too cold. And Lyle sounds uh, really tired, so I don't know if we're gonna be, be doing much, but I wanna show you guys the nightgowns. So I'm either gonna do that when I get back, if he's sleeping, or I'll show it to you tomorrow. I lied. We're going walking, because he has a new jacket. We're gonna go get some photos in it. <laughs> Look at it. Trench. I never rocked a trench before. It's really nice. Got some cool detail on it. That's cool. Little buttons. Pretty nice. Ah. Gotta go get some photos by the duck pond. Yeah. It's so cold out though. <laughs> when I've got these on, it's cold outside. Because it's basically like almost snowy weather. You know they're getting snow in California. Las Vegas too. Yeah, it's so weird. We're gonna go for a walk before Peanut and Tony get here. You really should be buckled in, sir. <laughs> Getting coffee. Nom nom nom. Rose gardens all cut back and ready for spring. Oh, I cannot wait for my beloved gardens. In just a few months, probably a couple, will be completely billowing over. And then obviously the dahlias will be back. So this is, I guess, how you winter-proof dahlia gardens. Interesting. This thing turns into the coolest plant in spring. Look at the inside of this tree. If I was a kid, I would turn this whole tree into my mansion. <laughs> and I would say the kitchen's over here and I would clear a space in the pine. Would yeah, I would clear a space in the pine and I'd say, okay, kitchen's over here and then I would make a path to the living room. I did that in our backyard. So cool. I love it. It's literally making itself a little skirt. Sorry. Let me get out of here and untangled. <laughs> that is neat. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I 
mean, I do. They fly south for a reason, but these ones don't. <laughs> I don't think it gets cold enough or something. Doesn't it, like, right before it snow, they kind of take off for a little bit? Duck fat blubber. Ducks and blubber. You know, duck fat is, there's a lot of fat in ducks. Blubber, think about when you eat duck. <laughs> How much fat and grease there is in duck. Look at that, look at all those dinners just floating. <laughs> <laughs> Mallard salad. <laughs> Mallard salad. Do they even do duck salad? I'm sure. How cold do you think the water is? 40? Pretty cold. Could you imagine if that gets icy? How cool of a skating rink would that be though? Like you can just do circles. It would be cool if it was like solid ice where you can skate on it. Yeah. That would be so fun. You're not even peeing on anything. He doesn't have any pee left. He's just pretending at this point. <laughs> My hands are officially purple. Probably, uh... <laughs> That's the sign to head back. <laughs> that goose right there. He just bucked up on us. He just hissed at Tina. Tina, and you came barreling at him. That goose is like three times her size. He's looking at you right now. <laughs> and welcome to the next day. I'm gonna show you all of the nightgowns that I got at the thrift store. We gotta keep you warm. Why don't you get in your blankie? That's Tony, not Peanut. I'm homeward bound. I won't be doing any shopping for a while, so I'm glad I got this out of my way. I actually hadn't been out of the house in a hot minute, so it was just nice to get out, put on an outfit, you know. This blazer we'll talk about first. I've needed a black one, so as you saw, I just got an oatmeal colored one or a tan, and then I also have my navy blue one that I got from The Real Real, that's Prada. It's got such a nice feel, it almost feels like it's linen. It's just a really nicely made blazer. It's by Sag Harbor. What is, oh here it is, it says, shell exterior is polyester and rayon. So, definitely not linen, but it looks like it. You know, it's like faux, but, the only thing I noticed about it, and this was after I had left and bought it, was, because it was a little dark in there, I wouldn't say the lighting was the best. It looks like it has a stain, but that's like a bleach. It looks like it's got a bleach spot. So that'll be easy to fix. I actually have black fabric dye, and I'll just dye it with the fabric dye, and then you won't even know it's there. But otherwise, yeah, it's really nice. I like it, and it's a nice fit. And I love the collar. It's got a little bit of a shoulder. And I like it, I think it's great. So now I've checked every box. I have all the blazers I can need. I still am kind of looking for a boucle one. It's kind of Chanel-y looking, but not being Chanel, because obviously even Chanel on the real real or thrifted is so expensive. As I said, all I do is sleep in nightgowns. I look like a grandma and I don't care, but I would prefer to just have on a granny dress. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it, my granny dress, but they're so cute. I love the little dainty roses and vines across the top and the ruffles. I think that's my thing about these nightgowns is that they're just so girly and cutesy and cottage core. <laughs> it just feeds my soul. Like I just can see the wind blowing and me walking through my garden with my coffee in the morning, checking on my tulips and wearing my granny dress. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what anybody has to say about my granny dresses. I really like it when they have pockets. Sometimes they do, but none of these did. They have little matching covered buttons and it's just so cute. The brand is called Aria. This was $4 and some change. All of them were, except for one, this one. This one was more expensive. I don't know why they decided they liked this one more and to price it up two more dollars, but they did. Here, let's get you into bed. I got gotcha. you. So yeah, I don't know what the re the reason was that this one was more expensive. I think whoever worked there was like, this is prettier. <laughs> but it's like this little periwinkle purple. And look at these little dainty roses going across it again. With the, is that, are those roses? I can't, actually don't know what kind of flower those are trying to be. Probably more tulips, actually. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But I like also that this part is a little bit sheer. So, ooh, sexy. <laughs> There's nothing sexy. Well, I, yeah, I 
think if you ask me I think these are sexy seeing a girl in a little satin dress and then like their underwear is kind of peeking through that's hot I love my most favorite type ones are cotton with lace so cute this is this is sexy okay come on <laughs> I keep trying to convince myself the only thing I noticed about this is that this is strung through the lace there's holes in the lace if you can see this I don't know if you will but it's strung through these little lacy eyelets and it had come out so I sat there for 30 minutes restringing this so I'm gonna keep it tied and make sure that doesn't happen again because that would be such a bitch to have to do the whole thing luckily it was only a few if you can hear him chewing on that bone in the background it's a really ASMR <laughs> dog <laughs> chewing sound <laughs> I don't know that it's really the best this one was neat I actually was surprised I almost didn't get it just because I don't know why actually I, I guess I thought it looked a little 90s I don't, know, I don't know why I don't know why but I'm so glad I got it because I love the cut of this dress I think it's inside out I love the fit I love the way it fit around my neckline I thought it was really flattering I love that it kind of closes and it looks somewhat kimono-y to me in just the design and style of the neckline but I love the sleeve and the piping around it and the final one this is the only one that I think that wasn't vintage because it still had a brand new tag on it definitely grandma the most grandma of all of the grandma ones and this is definitely polyester so it's my least favorite just because the fabric is so staticky this is going to be so staticky to sleep in. I'm gonna roll around in my sheets and start a lightning storm. My husband's gonna be like, what is going on over there? <laughs> Powder entered the room. <laughs> Do you remember that movie, Powder, the guy who got struck by lightning? It's just so staticky, but it is actually really pretty and I love, again, the rose design it's got roses all over it it's got this lovely silky vanilla it's like a faux silk you know love the sleeves the sleeves are so ruffly Ooh, see-through sexy <laughs> so sexy it'll be comfortable it's a good backup for when i need it and it is really i thought it like looked really good on i just hated how staticky it was so i might have to get some of that spray or something that keeps it from sticking to my body like glue anyway that's all i've got for this week i hope you guys enjoyed this lovely video with me i talked a lot i hope i didn't talk too much i'm gonna hate to edit that please subscribe if you're not and thumbs up this video and i will see you guys next week bye